Drug Check Next Step on-site test cup procedure. The Drug Check Next Step cup is an immunoassay for the rapid, qualitative detection of up to 15 drugs and drug metabolites in human urine. Before use, bring the test to room temperature, 59 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 to 30 degrees Celsius. Visually inspect the foil pouch containing the test device to ensure that the pouch is intact. Do not use it if the foil pouch is not intact, seal broken, tears, holes, etc. Verify that the expiration date printed on the pouch is valid. Do not use if expired. Tear open the foil pouch and remove the test cup. Write the donor's name or identification number on the label in the section provided. Hand the test cup to the donor and instruct donor to void directly into the test cup, ensuring that the urine specimen is above the recommended minimum level line. The donor places the lid back on the test cup, tightens it firmly, and returns the test cup immediately to the collector. The collector verifies that the lid is secured and the specimen temperature is within normal range of 90 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 32 to 38 degrees Celsius. If the specimen temperature is not within normal range, it is considered invalid and another specimen must be collected in a new cup. Interpreting results. The collector removes the privacy label. Once the control line is visible, the test is ready to be interpreted. Typically, this occurs in five minutes. Do not interpret results after 10 minutes. Positive. The presence of a reddish-purple line in the control C region and no line in the test T region of any individual test strip indicates a presumptive positive result for that drug. A presumptive positive result indicates that the concentration of that drug in the specimen is at or above the cutoff level. Negative. A negative result for any single drug is the presence of a reddish purple line in both the control C and test T regions. A negative result on an individual test strip indicates that the concentration of that drug in the specimen is below the cutoff level. Note. The intensity of the test line may vary. Any line in the test T region, without regard to intensity, color, or size, is a line and indicates a negative result for that drug. Invalid. If a control line fails to appear on any individual test strip, the test result is invalid and should be repeated. Please review the procedure and repeat with a new cup. If the problem persists, Discontinue using the cup immediately and contact your local distributor. Urine alcohol. If the device includes a test strip for alcohol, read that strip at two minutes. Compare the color of the reaction pad with the color chart provided to determine the relative blood alcohol level. No color change indicates a negative result. Note, next step cups containing urine alcohol are for forensic use only. Adulterants. If the device includes a test strip or strips for adulterants, read the strips between 3 and 5 minutes. Compare the colors of each reaction pad on the strip with the color chart provided. Adulterated urine will show result colors similar to those in the abnormal columns of the color chart, either high or low. Unadulterated urine will show pad colors similar to those in the normal column. For professional in vitro diagnostic use only, made in the USA.